Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plan with me for you today, and this will be an Erin Condren plan with me for the week of October 14th through October 20th. I do want to go ahead and preface, I am sorry for the lighting. I know it is not the best. The second half of the vi this video should be better. I should be receiving my replacement bulb this week, so I will have two studio lights again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I broke one, but in case you didn't, I am sorry. The lighting will get better, but I am really excited to use this kit. This week is the week of my youngest stepsister's wedding that I am officiating and my um, biological sister. It is her uh, engagement dinner with our family. So I am using this gorgeous kit called Fall in Love and I just thought it was so perfect because it's going to be a week full of love and this is a gorgeous kit. So this kit is from Wild Summer Designs and it is a gold foiled kit that I just love. I love how light and airy and beautiful it is. So, so perfect. So I did pick up the mini kit and then added on the fourth page. So these first three pages are the mini kit. You get your full boxes and some skinny labels, headers, checklists, hexagons, flags, sidebar items, and some labels oh, and that gorgeous weekend banner. Then you get your foiled bottom washi, your date covers, date dots, and some bill dues. And then this is the sheet I added on, which is page four, which are your boxes and quarter boxes, which these are foiled as well. It is so, so gorgeous. And I am going to be pulling in some headers from my collection. These are just some leftover glitter headers, and they are very pale pink. I thought they would work nicely. These are solid gold foiled headers from Nikki Plus 3, and then scalloped bow headers from Bodacious Prints. So this week I am going to do all of my boxes straight across the middle. I just think all of these boxes are beautiful and I want to keep them all together. So I'm going to do my scallop bow headers at the top, and then my... Um, solid foiled headers across the boxes in the middle and then these glitter headers along the bottom boxes. Just so you know my plan. So now I am going to get the bottom washi down. It is so gorgeous. I'm not going to um, trim it down because I just love those flowers. So I'm going to do my bottom washi and then my date uh, covers as well as the date dots from the kit. I am not actually going to use any flags this week, so I went ahead and whited out the flag on the second half. I haven't been using a flag there anyway, but this flag actually marks uh, matches perfectly. And even though I don't love the black asterisk, it's going to be fine. I'm going to leave that there and just not pull in a flag. So I'm going to go through and get all of this down, and I will be back in one minute with my sidebar. All right, so I've got my bottom washi and date covers down. I just think this is so gorgeous. I am in love with this art. So let's move to the sidebar. So I am going to do the fall in love with fall quote box. And this is a white box, so I feel like I'm gonna need to white out this line and this line. I don't do that often, but it's definitely going to be visible through this one. There we go. Perfect. So, so pretty. So let's do our headers and I'm going to do some washi strips. So the washi strips are the gorgeous floral pattern. And then I'm going to do the this week header which all of the headers and um, pretty much everything in this kit is foiled, which is really, really nice. So this week, and then I'm going to do my habit trackers. I have learned that I do not love foiled habit trackers. They're beautiful, but I don't feel like I can write over the foiled dates where you're supposed to actually keep up with your habits. So I've been putting little stickers over them, but it's just not my favorite, and that's okay. So for my habit trackers, I did pull some scripts. I have my vitamin script, which is a custom script from Nightingale Paper Co. And then I have my no spin script, which is from Kinsey's Creations. I do have um, discount codes for quite a few of the shops that I am using, so check the description if you would like to save um, from any of these shops. So next I'm going to do another strip of the floral washi and then I'm going to do my dinner's header here. 
And then that is not straight. I'll just fix that. I'm going to do the weekly tracker box. I just love this, like, um, yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. And this tone is so beautiful for, for fall. I love it. Okay. So that is for my dinners. And then I'm going to do a label. I want to do another strip of washi. I think the last two strips were like thick. I could trim them down, but that seems like a lot of work. So I'm just going to do a label. This is for what I am currently reading. There we go. And then down at the bottom. Oh, I don't feel like I can. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm going to trim this box which makes me sad because it's so pretty but I will be able to use the majority of it and I'll be able to use the foiled part so I honestly might save this bottom piece just because those books are so pretty and I can use it in like a daily or something we shall see so I'm going to trim this box here and I'm just using my slice tool from Amazon. I mean, that doesn't really look like anything. <laughs> but I am very happy with that box in the sidebar. Just that little bit of foiling over the coffee cup. I promise I'll be able to show you how beautiful this spread is much better later. And maybe I should have waited to film this until then. But I was just so excited to get it down. But I am sorry about the lighting. I hope it's not as bad as it appears. So, I am going to get the full boxes and uh, glitter headers down, and I'll be back in one minute. Okay, I knew the spread was going to be beautiful, but this is so, so beautiful. Let me give you a wiggle. I just love how dainty the foiling is on the full boxes. It's not picking up. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. It is so, so beautiful. I think the headers work nicely. Just really pretty. So like I said, I put the full boxes straight across the middle and then I did go ahead and white out the lines and the boxes that I am not using. And I do want to put down the weekend banner with y'all. I did use that entire sheet. So let's do the weekend banner, which is equally as gorgeous. And I am going to try and do it over the non-foiled glitter headers right here to take up as little room as possible, but to also not clash with the bottom because it does have the floral pattern in the background. So I don't want it to take away. Okay, yes, I think that is perfect. Let me try and... And since the glitter headers, these aren't foiled, I think it works very nicely. The K and the D do go into the full boxes, but I don't think it takes away from them since the foiling on those are at the top. Oh, I just, I am loving the spread. And it's going to be so perfect to celebrate my sisters. Okay, so I have a ton of functional items and boxes to use throughout the week. And I will be back in one minute with the first half of the week. All right, so um, just a little preface. This is uh, a very sad week. And I'm going to try and mark it the best way I can in my planner. So first thing on Monday, my cousin called to tell me, that one of my childhood friends had passed away in a car wreck and it was a very um, tragic and shocking morning and it really took over my entire week. So it definitely deserves to be marked even though it is very sad and oh, just just tragic. So I'm going to use a half box there and then I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. It is her sad Winston's because I mean that's just how I felt. I tried to keep my mind off of it by doing some planning so I am going to mark that with a flag. 
Um, it's never ever a good time to lose anyone, but it's just such a bittersweet week because there were so many exciting things going on. And then to go through that, it was really hard. So let me use a flag from the kit and then a foiled plan script from Bodacious Prints right there. So that was for doing some planning. I did um, still work this day, so I'm going to mark that with a hexagon. And let's do one of the bow ones. I'm going to alternate the bow hexagons and the non-bows. So I'm going to do that hexagon right there. And then this week I'm going to use my work scripts from Little Pity Paper. So I'm going to do that right there. So that's for getting some work done. And then I picked up Chick-fil-A for lunch. So I pulled this sheet from Pretty and Primco. And I'm going to do a Chick-fil-A sandwich right here. So that's for picking up Chick-fil-A for lunch. And then after work that day, I just wanted to nap just to keep my mind off everything. So I pulled these little mini sleep masks from... Um, Piper Paper Company, and I'm going to put it in. I really want to repurpose these Bildus because, I mean, they're little labels, but I feel like it might look weird if I white it out. Are they smaller than... Oh, I can... I'll just use one of these uh, little eighth boxes here. So I'm going to do that box... And then my little mini sleep masks from Piper Paper Company. So that will be it for taking a nap. And then I had to do some grocery shopping. So I pulled this sheet from My Spoiled Planner. It is her Elena character um, running errands. So that is going to be for doing grocery shopping. And then I want to do a quarter box. My husband and I started re-watching all of the um, Harry Potter movies in preparation for our trip um, the next week. So I'm going to do a quarter box there and then I pulled these foiled Harry Potter movie scripts from Wild Summer Designs. So we watched, oh not that one, we watched Harry Potter and oh goodness, I just don't want to put down the correct one and the Chamber of Secrets. There we go. So I'm just going to put that right there in that box. Perfect. Okay. So Moving on to Tuesday. First thing Tuesday morning, I'm going to mark working. So let's do a non-bow hexagon here. And then my same work script from Little Pity Paper. Perfect. And then I um, talked to quite a few of my family members to discuss the arrangements and the plans for the week. Um, my friend that passed away was very close with my entire family. He um, was my cousin's neighbor, my best friend's little brother. Just oh, it was very sad for all of us. So I'm just going to use one of these little bow circles for chatting with my family. And then I took my pups on a walk. So I pulled this uh, dog walking sheet from Once More With Love. I'm going to do this one right here for taking my pups on a walk. I'm actually going to spread this out a bit because I don't really have a lot of plans. I really just took it easy this week. I didn't do a lot of filming and uploading. I didn't spend a lot of time on Instagram. It was just really sad. So I don't have a ton to mark. So I think I'm going to do maybe a label here. Yeah, let's do that with this bow circle in it. And then that will be everything. I might do like a little divider under that work to take up some of that space. So I pulled this sampler from Rose Colored Days. It is the, um, or it's Nikki's freebie. So I'm just going to use her squiggle here just as a little divider in this space and then I think this label might be crooked 
There we go. All right, so that's it for the first half. And then, so I want to do another half box divider. I want to see if I can do it correctly this time. All right, so I think I've got it down correctly this time. I've got to say, these are not the easiest things for me to use. I'm using an extender from Scribble Prints Co. And yeah, I just, I'm struggling with them. We'll see, maybe I'll get the hang of it. So for the outside of this half box, I want to mark that we watched um, another Harry Potter movie. We watched The Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'm gonna do that right here. And then on the inside, I'm going to put a paper and milk Maru with the heart eyes right here. And then this night, my husband and I cooked dinner together. So I pulled this sheet from Tasseled Planner. It is her um, dinner bow icon. So I'm just gonna do that right here to mark that we cooked dinner together. And that was it for Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday. First thing, Wednesday morning, I wanted to mark coffee. So I pulled these um, fall coffee cups from the Crafty Banana. I actually think I'm gonna use one of these green ones because there is a decent amount of green in this kit. So I'm gonna do the coffee cup here and then I pulled this butt first coffee script from Taylor and Tucker. I'm gonna do that right there. Perfect. That's really cute, I like that. So then, of course, I had to do some work, so let's alternate back to a foiled hexagon from the kit right here. And then my work script from Little Pity Paper. Then my husband and I had a lunch date together. We went and got pho, which has been our favorite thing to do for the past few weeks. So I pulled this sheet from Fox and Pip. It is the pho real sheet. Do that right there for going to have lunch with my husband. And then after work this day, I went and picked up smoothies, which has been something I have been loving. So I pulled this sheet from Paper and Milk. This is technically the iced coffee sheet, but I am just going to use it as a smoothie. So that's for picking up smoothies. And then my husband and I watched two Harry Potter movies this night. So I think I'm going to do a half box. I think I'm gonna kind of offset them, like do one right there, and then Order of the Phoenix right here, and I'll just write an and symbol. I am on this sheet going to use another one of those bow circles just above this so I can write movie night, and then yeah, I'll do that right there, write movie night, and then I'll just write an and right here um, since we watched both of those movies. So that was it for Wednesday. Moving on to Thursday. First thing, Thursday morning, I did some work. So let's go to a non-foiled hexagon here. And then another one of my work scripts. And then I did some cleaning, so I pulled this mini chore sheet from Once More With Love, and I'm going to use um, this munchkin in the light, light pink purple. So that's for doing some cleaning. And then I did have a YouTube binge, so I pulled this sheet from Kinsey's Creations. And I think I'm gonna do that in a label. Maybe a fancy label right here. And then just put the script in the label. Oh yeah, I like that, perfect, okay. And then I drove to Augusta, so I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. I think I'm gonna use this light pink car here. So that will be for driving to Augusta. And then I had a visitation this night, so I'm gonna do another half box for the visitation. It was so bittersweet because I got to see 
so many people that I grew up with and see my friend's family, but it was just for a horrible occasion. So I'm going to use this sad munchkin here for the visitation. And then I stayed with one of my cousins this night, so I um, just went to her house and we chatted a bit, which we just reminisced, and it was sad, but it was nice. So I'm just going to do a flag vertically right here because I don't have anything else to mark. And that's going to be for chatting with my cousin that night. So that was everything for Thursday. Moving on to Friday. First thing Friday morning, I had some coffee and just relaxed. So I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. I used this Winston here for having a coffee. And then this day it was... The funeral, so I am going to do, let's see, let's do a squared half box right here for the funeral. I did speak at the funeral, which was hard, but it was actually really nice because I got to, you know, speak from the heart a little bit and reminisce, and it made me feel better. So, for the funeral, I'm going to use one of these foiled hearts from Avenue K. And then after that, my sister and I went to Dunkin' Donuts to pick up some coffee. It was a very tiring morning, so I pulled this sheet from um, the Crafty Banana. It's her pumpkin spice latte coffee, coffee cups. So that is going to be for going to Dunkin' Donuts. And then, because you probably could not ask for a more emotionally exhausting day, it was time for my stepsister's wedding, which is why I am using this kit. So, I'm going to do a half box for that. And then I pulled this sheet from Once More With Love. It is the wedding munchkins. So I'm going to do them right here so I can write in Kel Katie and Dylan's wedding there. And then it was an afternoon wedding, so my husband and I um, picked up some food on the way home and then watched another Harry Potter movie. So I pulled this sheet from Hey Soul Sticker because we picked up wings for dinner. i do that right there. And then I'm going to do a quarter box. I have, this is not the first time I've tried to use this wing sticker and it just, it's so bold. Yeah, I just, it just stands out too much. I'm not going to use it. Maybe I'll pull some utensil icons. All right, so I pulled my leftover um, sticker album and I'm just gonna use some utensil out utensil icons oh no that color is too bright let's see let's do this pale pink here and that is for picking up wings for dinner and this box is very crooked here at the bottom all right so then in this box I'm gonna do another one of my foiled movie scripts and we watched Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and that will go right there perfect okay so that was it for Friday moving on to Saturday um, Saturday morning I had coffee and did some planning so I pulled this flat lay from Creating & Co it's just so perfect the planner desk with all the stickers and a coffee cup so I'm going to do the flat lay right there for having coffee and planning time in the morning. I was exhausted, so it was really nice just to have some relaxing time. And I did some filming, so I pulled these foiled camera icons from Magic Prints Co. I'm going to do that right there. And then my film script from Kenzie's Creations. And then I drove back to Augusta. Um... I went here quite a few times, so I'm going to do a bow icon for driving back to Augusta because it was my sister and soon-to-be brother-in-law's engagement dinner. So I'm going to do a half box for that.
right here. Perfect. And then my husband and I watched Harry Potter again. So for that, I think I'm going to do another flag. And I'm going to do it vertically again. And then do Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1. We didn't actually finish it, but we started it. So I'm going to mark it here. Perfect. Alrighty. So that was it for Saturday. Moving on to Sunday. First thing Sunday morning, I had coffee and watched some YouTube videos. So I am going to do this little fall Winston with his coffee cup from Nightingale Paper Co. So that's for coffee and watching YouTube. And then I talked to my cousin as I drove to work and just caught up with her. So I am going to do another bow circle icon for chatting and then I worked at my husband's restaurant so I'm gonna do a label here for working and then after work I picked up some barberitos for lunch which is really good we haven't had barberitos in a while um, I am actually going to use this Chipotle sheet, but it's a burrito, so it works. And that is from Pretty and Primco. Alrighty, so that was for having burritos for lunch, and then I did some more filming. So I'm going to mark it the same way with the foiled camera from Magic Prints Co. And my film script from Kinsey's Creations. There we go. And then I took my pups on a walk, so I pulled these mini paw prints from Piper Paper Company. So I'm going to do this little pink one, and I think I might do this in a label, yes. So this will be for taking my pups on a walk. Perfect. And then I had a nice relaxing bath. I'd had such an exhausting weekend, it was very needed. So I pulled this sheet from Pumpkin Paper Co. And this little fall Tara in the bath with a book is exactly how my night was. So I was going to mark Gilmore Girls at the end of the night, but I think I might just mark this, maybe over a strip of washi. I think I might do that because it's pretty self-explanatory. I was reading in bath time and just a relaxing night. So I'm just going to do that right there. Oh, I really like that. Perfect. Okay. Like I said, that was from Pumpkin Paper Co. So I'm going to go through and fill all of this out and I'll be back in one minute to show you the completed spread. Alright guys, so here is my completed spread. This week definitely um, was a hard week, but I'm really glad that I have a beautiful spread to look back on. And there were some great moments as well. My stepsister getting married and my um, younger sister's engagement dinner. And I have this beautiful spread to look back on and um, remember my friend that passed away. So. I'm going to give you a viv wiggle because I did pull in a decent amount of foil and I don't think I mentioned it but I did put my Wild Summer Designs Halloween countdown uh, foiled scripts over the headers here and I really like how that looks and I, I hate that I didn't have a lot going on this week because it was a sad week but I really love how light and airy the spread looks with all of the white so I'm very happy with it. If you'd like to see close-ups of this spread, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know how you have chosen to mark some not-so-happy memories in your planner. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload two to three videos per week. And that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!